pasta pizzelli or pasta and peas. It's really simple. It's taking some fresh peas, peas you have in the freezer, little bits of deli meat that have maybe seen their better days. We're gonna crisp it up with some onions, throw in the peas and add some cheese and that's our, our dish. This is a great recipe that you can use up odds and ends, stuff like, you know, some salami or capocollo, prosciutto, some cured meats that are kind of dry. Don't throw this stuff out. We're just gonna cube this and see that ends. That's all beautiful fat, beautiful fat. So now onion. Easy. 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 Get it? We're making pasta and peas. Easy peasy. Yeah, I don't see any peers coming out of you. We have our onions that are diced. Hey, Dante. Hi. Let's take this to the frying pan and let's um, crisp it up. We're just gonna add very, very little olive oil, just a little. There is lots of fat with this prosciutto, and some of that fat is gonna get rendered down and it's gonna create some oil. We'll throw it in. Beautiful, beautiful fat. That's gonna all kind of melt. Uh, music to my ears. A little bit of uh, chili flakes. Chili. Ooh, look at that, Em. Ooh. Get it nice and crispy. Get that fat to melt. Nice. So you want to cook it where the whole house begins to stink. Actually, not. This mom would kill me. Look at all the beautiful, beautiful, crispy, crispy bits. Is that fat or oil? That's all the fat that's been rendered. We're gonna put in the onion. This never and gets old. A little bit of salt, not too much. So we just wanna add. Why well, aren't they frozen? Don't they eat like time? No, 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 they, they, they melt in, in seconds. In seconds, that's like the way you say right. seconds. Black pepper. Pepper. Aqua. Use salt. You make sure you put quite a bit because you want the pasta water to taste like the seed. Okay, so just give it a little stir. This is pretty much done. We're gonna lower it. We're gonna add more pasta water when all those starches get released and look at that. Mm. Well, the pasta's cooking, the peas are just gonna chill and relax. You can use any type of pasta noodle. Truth is, this is all we had, and so this is what we're using. Pasta is almost ready. Taste it. Al dente, and we're gonna take it out. So pasta water, this is where all that good creaminess comes in. Always reserve a cup or two on the side. We put this back on the stove as this goes in. Oh, look at that. There's a little bit of creaminess. I'm gonna add just a little more of the pasta water. Okay, beautiful. Now we're gonna add the cheese. Turn it off from the heat. See, no heat. Put it on now. And good grade of parmigiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. Got some chunks, chunks in there. Yeah, because you want to have those little elements of surprise. I think the element of surprise will end up in George's dish. Uh, we hope not. still beautifully creamy. It's not dry. I don't really know if it's creamy because I haven't tried it yet. A little drizzle of olive oil. We're gonna finish it off with... More cheese. More cheese. Why? Because we're Italian. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try it. And if you want, you can do another little... More cheese! Why not? Okay. I want some. Look at that. Mm. Just like Nana Jose used to make. Wow. Now, how long did it take to make? Mm, 20, 20 minutes? minutes? That's it. Really easy and simple. Yes, yes, yes. Finally. Let's get a little bit of everything here. Okay, first of all, you're not lying when you said it's really creamy. It's really good. Like it really is. I like the saltiness from the meat. I like the peas. So I you're like getting the cheese. Your vegetables in there as well. 
I always liked peas though. Yeah. Yeah. Cool.